people with learning disabilities and their families and carers in life to get their voices heard and have their rights met. There's a lot of campaigning work that goes on in this organisation to change attitudes, to stop hate crime and all those things that really are in all of our community. Two years? How Maybe often are you here? Three days a week. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Mondays to Thursdays, four days a week. Yeah. I have been working in Menka for two years and a half. And I really, really enjoy my, my job. You know, I wanted to take a more humanitarian career. You know, the CEO, the director, they're all very accessible. They all are very um, interactive with our clients. And one thing like that has made me stay on is that everyone who works here, they genuinely care about our clients. You've been here for like four years. Pushing five. Pushing I'm five, so? Yeah, yeah, longest serving. What makes you stay, what, what makes you remain here? What do you the like guys, the people, the people you work with every day, we become family really. The person centred planning really, the person centred values of this place, the way the clients and staff interact and treat each other is really, really cool to see. It's, it's all about the people. So we support people with advocacy and their rights and that's the crux of this organisation, it's based on people's rights and give them a voice and that's everything we do. Mm -hmm. We've got this kind of understanding between all of us that we're working together. We're not here for ourselves, we're here as a team to work with the clients. We're support workers, we're supporting them to do the best they can. And everyone buys into that, everyone gets it. Every day is something we try to make these different things. And what kind of things do you do here? What activities do you do? I say jamming with my friends, jamming and stuff. Let's do anything. Yeah, do some art or what's TV or playing games. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Just do it in the same all my best mates. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Spend time with all you guys. So when you're that's happy when you come here? Yeah, yeah. It does actually. Oh, you don't think that. Interesting me and um, hanging out with my friends and sometimes meet new people. Fitness, dance, cooking, laundry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go out on trips. I would be out, but I would be out just a bit, still sitting, not doing nothing. We've got great space here. We've got um, breakout rooms, we've got art rooms, we've got a massive kitchen to do cooking in so we can make cakes, we can we can even teach people about healthy eating, so about eating their vegetables and things like that. But then we also go out into the wider community. Because the big thing at Mencap is to be part of the community. Mm -hmm. So we'll go shopping, we'll go out to local amusements. We're really lucky to be in where we are. We're 10, 15 minutes away from the big attractions in London. Also we do big trips, long trips. Uh, 11, I think, we are doing the last uh, year. I think for th between three days and seven days, they really, really enjoy. It's like a holidays. They really feel like they are holidays. They enjoy all day. It's a non-stop yeah. Monday from the morning till, till 10 o'clock, half past 10 in the, in the night. I mean, we went to Britain, where I was born. What, Ken? Yeah, Kingswood. Kingswood. Not Ken, by the way, babe. Um, my God, we went to college. So we had two narrow roads for a week, 
One was specially adapted for you, okay, so it had a lift at the front and the back. Um, specially adapted beds, bigger inside. Um, we took it down basically to take it out for a week and we just had the best time ever. It's really good to see the guys kind of doing new things and, and exploring new places and seeing somewhere outside of their normal routine of their parents as respite, things like that. It's, it's, it's a proper holiday. Lolo. Amanda. Matt. Matt. Dean. Lana, yeah. She must feel going. You know what I mean? She must uh, press going, make her feel happier. Nice people here, nice staff, nice friends, yeah. Everybody. Ha! And I, I really want everybody. They're all your favourite? They're helpful, they're kind, yeah. Yeah. We really take care of the of the clients and we, we we make like a like a like a like a friendship with them so they trust us with, and you know so it's, it's like a big family. Xbox later. Yeah, Xbox. Oh Xbox, Xbox later. He's Italy and I'm always England. Yeah. And you always uh, lose. Yeah, dim down. Oh, no. Me too. Nah. Shopping. Shopping, yeah, we're going to do some shopping oh, first. He's sweaty. And then we'll do it later, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially client and parent and when when you see the parent that they are happy they give, they give you a very good feedback and also when you see the client coming in the morning laughing so I'm happy that means a lot yeah yes it's a very it's something that I feel very very proud you, you will have days where you go home and think was that worth it but then you see a smile on someone's face or you hear someone laugh or they come and give you a hug and say thank you or the parents say thank you for helping their child who's possibly not done an activity before do that activity and it's just that just makes it all worthwhile straight away. I think raising awareness but there's still a lot of stigma around learning disabilities or learning difficulties. When I did a bit of work here months ago it was a really eye-opener for me. I always thought, oh, it must be so difficult for you guys working here. It must be so sad and full of sorrow. But it turns out it was fun. Yeah, no, I, think, I think a lot of people have that in their head. And I think this is a really good opportunity to kind of show the world that, <coughs> no, it's not doom and gloom. Life is good. Life is so know. many opportunities out there. It's all about having that full awareness not an us and them mentality. That's what I realised and that's what it gave me. Yeah, yeah. People with learning difficulties are exactly, exactly the same. You know, they have the same possibilities to do every single thing that we do. And this is, that's why inclusion, you know, we try to, to make no difference in nothing. There is no limit, but nothing. Yeah. So I've been moving for a year and we come to you. Wow. And how's that going, okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> well, that happy old birthday. Clank! Clank! Uh, 
relatively for, for free, or some, some people could do dance for free as well, and all, all kinds of activities. Everything, everything is, is good. Everything to improve the service and to make our client to, to be part of the, of the society without any limitation is welcome. We've got some fantastic staff members that have never worked with people with learning disabilities before. And it was ju it's just, it's been organic. I mean, I think come and, and meet people with learning disabilities. Find out they're the same as everyone. All young people, or all middle-aged people with learning disabilities. We've all got different dreams, we've all got different talents. And just explore that. It's a great opportunity to get involved in the local community. It's a great opportunity to have fun. We have fun here every day. There's never a dull day here. Once you get involved, you'll realise why you people stay and want to get involved here. Do it. It's the best job in the world. It doesn't feel like a job. to say to people watching about HMF Mencar. Just get involved. Just get involved. Just get involved. Make people happy, you make you happy. Feel welcome. Come on, come and join in. Just feel country get to my what age you back on anybody. What way she was, just come in, just come and join in. You be having fun, we make you make you feel welcome. Come and join us.